so animated Bumblebee. He's cute, he's cuddly, he's a colossal cheater. But that makes him ideal custom fodder. His head and chest are completely irrelevant to his transformation, so we can put whatever the hell we want in there. Even girl parts. This is animated Minerva. I know, I know, there's that BotCon one. But I've already got two versions of that mold. Can't have everybody be a repaint of RC, you know. Besides, on her original show, she's part robot, part 14-year-old anime girl, and I wanted a toy that honored that proud heritage. This is animated Hotshot. Sort of the same deal. Youngish looking, rear wheel shoulders, and most of the bot mode doesn't show up on the car. Plus he's yellow, so I didn't actually have to paint half of him. Let's get the easy thing out of the way first. The foot mod can be done just by unscrewing the screw here under the foot, and then this piece just comes right off. Then you turn what's left sideways, and you get rid of the bunny feet. For Hotshot, I cut off his stingers in the part where they attached, and filled in the hole with styrene. Since his weapon's on the outside, I figured I could afford to give him more complete-looking forearms. For Minerva, I didn't want her to have big old gorilla arms like Bumblebee, and I needed the doors on the shoulders. So I cut the entire forearms off the doors, and then moved them up to the shoulders with these admittedly somewhat unbecoming hinges. And then made new forearms for her out of, ironically, the legs off a Revenge of the Fallen Nightbeat. His head is actually the original Bumblebee head, shaved down and crammed inside a Lego Technic figure helmet. I also trimmed down the nose and gave him a bit of a brow to make the eyes a little bit smaller. The visor, uh, which moves but really ought not to because it's either going to scratch the paint or come off if I fiddled with it too much, um, is the visor for the same Lego Technic helmet with a bit of epoxy sculpt on the side, uh, the chin thingy. Is that a goatee? The helmets have goatees? That is epoxy sculpt as well. Minerva's head is mostly epoxy sculpt built in layers, uh, face, hat, crest, and then with styrene pieces on the side. And the antennae are uh, Lego radios that have been chopped up a bit mounted on the side. The visor is just off a package, uh, I tinted it very light purple using Sharpie on the inside of plastic. The hardest part of doing the chest swap on these guys is actually getting the chest apart. There's a couple of screws, but there's also a pin running right through here that's just crammed into each side. There's no way to get at it with either a pin remover or a soldering iron to take it out, so you pretty much have to cut the bottom lip here under the clear piece just straight off. I was going to do that anyway, but uh, you really have to to make any kind of progress. Hot shot I couldn't just build his whatever spider engine thingy on top of Bumblebee's chest because it would drag on the ground in alt mode. So I actually had to saw Bumblebee's entire chest off right about there and then build a styrene chest that overlaid it like this. Obviously for Minerva, a whole lot more chest had to go to make room for this little dainty thing, which is also built from styrene. Transformation is pretty similar to the original, except on Minerva you do have to move her doors back down into place. And then slide the forearms up underneath them. And then just turn the hands a bit to make room for her colossal noggin. She winds up basically holding onto her ears like so. Hotshot also transforms much the same way, except you have to remove his spoilers and peg it on like so. I know, it's parts forming, it's cheating. I tried to build a hinge that would take them down there, but it was just too small and fiddly. Besides, parts forming is okay when it's spoilers. Right, RC? No! Shut up! Anyway, those are my animated Bumble customs. I'm off to do a nice, simple repaint.